Good day YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Today we're doing Cancer for April. April Cancer. I've already prayed over the cards. I've already shuffled them. Cancer for April. Wow. Hidden ending. Veil and coffin. Things through come, come through the veil. Psychic ability comes through the veil. Um, inspiration comes through the veil. Babies come through the veil. Coffin is an illness or an ending. Or quietness and sleeping. Something will be revealed. Let's see what else we get here. Wow. Ace of Swords and Nine of Cups. The Ace of Swords is a very decisive action. And Nine of Cups is um, your heart's desire. He's a fat cat sitting pretty. Uh, he got exactly what he wanted, and boy is he satisfied. Uh, it's a nine. These are nine. That's nine of cups is a nine, not a ten. So you still have one more card. You have one more cycle to get to the ten. So nine is very good, almost completed. So you're really going to get all of it. You're going to get it very suddenly. So these, the tarot here is contrasting the the PC, uh, this is probably indicating an ending that may come out of nowhere uh, and very suddenly and decisively you get exactly what you wanted. Okay, and what pops into my mind is this could be an inheritance. Uh, the unexpected happens and you receive an inheritance suddenly. Uh, you weren't wishing for it, you weren't hoping for it, you weren't expecting it, and then very suddenly that person is culled. Let's see what the other cards want to tell us. Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups, Five of Wands, Nine of Swords, Nightmare. Eight of Cups, King of Pentacles. There's Big Money card. So that kind of goes along with the inheritance idea. All right, let's read these a little bit. Let's see what we're, what energies we're getting at this point. Okay, the Knight of Wands, he charges in. He's a man of action. He's charging in. We have salamanders on his frock. So he's charging in. And the Queen of Cups is very satisfied with her situation. She's very close to the water. She's the queen of emotions. There's a baby in there with a fish. It's an angel baby with a fish. And there's little mer people on top too. So very emotional. She's the, she's the master of her emotions. She's sitting on the dry land, but she's the master of her emotions. Charging in emotionally. Okay, five wands, a conflict. Nobody's clearly winning here, but they're all in conflict. And it could be friendly or collegial, but it's a conflict. Nine of swords, the nightmare of everyone conflicting. Charging in in the emotions, taking action direct action about an emotional issue 
that is a nightmare and has got everybody fighting over it. Walking away and all the cups are full in the middle of the night uh, which is darkness not like telling everybody there's walking away in the night not in the day slipping away in the night okay and the king of pentacles is the fat cat okay he's got he's got all the money uh, he's got all the blessings he's got a whole bunch of pomegranates he's got the golden scepter he's got power he's got uh, you know, the lion's regal, king. He's like a king. He's the king. Hmm. Let's take a closer look and see what we're going to see. See what story the cards want to tell us. Roses, hamster wheel, ten spades. Okay. Uh, 23, six clubs. Action on, okay, this can be a, roses can be flirtation. Uh, ten spades is an ending, big ending, hamster wheel, been going on for a long time, going to end this thing that's been going on a long time and is very sweet, just charge right in. Just happens all of a sudden, comes out of nowhere, and it's over. It's over, it's over. Uh, it's a bit of a nightmare, but it's cut real fast, and nine cups, I think, is very positive, or it can just mean it's very important. I think it's very positive. See what the Queen of Cups wants to say. Executioner. All right. All right. So, handcuffs, executioner, incubus, succubus, 21, six hearts, which is karmic relationship. This is six clubs. So, there's a lot of six clubs, six hearts. Relationships are showing. Okay, so, sweet relationship that's been going on a long time the executioner just cuts it cuts this binding this could be a friendship handcuffs are not necessarily lovers okay there's a lover's card and there's a diamond ring handcuffs is just a union this is two people this can be business uh cutting a you know making an executive decision to cut a bad business relationship or close relationship of two people uh, there is a conflict it's kind of a nightmare uh, it kind of comes out of nowhere comes out of nowhere there's the diamond ring angel okay so this conflict is it's a close relationship this person is not a terrible person there it can be a son or a daughter it can be a child and there's a lot of talk about it five and eleven sixteen four spades coffin it's time for this this conflict to end this nightmare this conflict it's just time for it to end these are honest people in the relationship. Stuff happens. But there comes a time to act. Somebody's going to walk away. And these circumstances will seem to come out of nowhere. Scapegoat. Somebody's going to get the blame. Fence sitter and devil. Okay. Okay. So somebody's really going to get the blame. Somebody's going to be labeled the devil. Somebody's going to be labeled the angel. One is going to turn out the angel. One is going to turn out the devil. Reacting to circumstances and blaming. 13, 24, six spades. Okay, so people are going to talk. 
It's all going to happen very fast. It's going to come out of nowhere. It's going to be very decisive. One person is going to win. One person is going to lose. One person is going to be labeled an angel. One person is going to be labeled a devil. And for that time, that brief time of conflict, um, it's going to seem like a nightmare. It's going to seem like a nightmare. But everything's going to be restored on the back end, on the front end, on the end. It's going to be restored. And the loser is going to walk away. So if you're the one who walks away, um, you're the loser in this situation. Two hearts, six hearts, and no. Okay, yeah, so this stops it. It stops the close relationship and the, the long-term relationship. Eight and nine, 15, five hearts. This is a reaction to the conflict and the blame. So somebody's going to get the blame. Somebody's going to be the angel. Somebody's going to be the devil. Somebody's going to be blamed. It's going to end very suddenly and badly. It's going to come out of nowhere. It's going to be very decisive. And it's just going to stop with this person walking away. When this person exits and walks away, that's it. Okay, that's the end. And I think that nine hearts here is, you're the winner. Okay, the person who remains, they're the winner. They get the nine hearts. Okay, High Tower, Mother Earth, Star of Bethlehem, 1928. Again, seven spades, veil. It's official. This can be a literal mother. The Star of Bethlehem, this direction following the star, following the star and its official, this can easily be an official judgment of a court. Okay, one is the winner, one is the loser, one walks away with all the money, and one walks away with all the blame. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. There's a winner and there's a loser. Uh... This can be a court getting involved, okay? People talking about it. It's taken a long time to go. This can be a judge. And blame is assessed. One is considered the victim, the innocent party. One is considered the villain, the devil. One gets the blame, is scapegoated. And very suddenly, it ends and... Someone walks away with all the cookies. So that's what I'm seeing. All right, let's see what these here cards want to say. Pleasant letter and courthouse. Okay, court person. Okay, so court person goes along, this is a judge. This goes along with the executioner. This goes along with the blaming. This goes along with the sword, like the sword of justice. This, it's hidden until suddenly it ends. And then somebody's a winner. Okay, and then we have this pleasant letter. Somebody gets the pleasant letter. And there's butterflies all over the place. She's having tea. She's very comfortable. She's in her garden, her abundant garden. This is kind of like the Nine of Cups. Okay, so I see, I see a winner and a loser. I see a wonderful money card. I see it's, it's ugly for a while. It's kind of really bad. And then very suddenly... It's bad for a short while. This has been building up for a long time, but then it rushes forward of its own accord, and it's, it's about the situation. And maybe somebody, maybe a judge gets involved. Okay, but it's been building up for a long time, and everything is hidden until suddenly it ends. Everything is hidden until suddenly it ends, and that feels like a court case. There's a winner and there's a loser. Somebody gets blamed. Somebody walks away. 
somebody stays and is established. Okay, and the problem, it just stops. It just stops. Okay, and the, the, the good situation, the Mother Earth and the King of Pentacles, this is established and it's established officially and this is the new direction. Okay, so you're, you'll be established in strength. After this time of conflict, there will be a judgment. Okay, it doesn't have to be a court. It can be just people in relationships. Uh, there'll be a judgment and a winner and a loser and everything will be cleared up very suddenly and I think you come out the victor. I see you coming out the victor. I see you getting all the marbles. I see you getting the pleasant, the pleasant letter out of this conflict. Okay, It's always darkest before the dawn. It's always darkest before the dawn. And one of you is going to walk away. Somebody's going to walk away. And it's just gonna it's just gonna stop and it's gonna end. And everything, it's just all gonna be resolved very suddenly. And you're gonna come out the winner. You're gonna come out the winner. But to get there, there's a process. There's a lot of process. And you're it's going to be a nightmare for a while and you're not going to have, you're not going to know how it's going to turn out. It's going to be really stressful trying to, you know, wondering what's going on behind the veil. It's going to be really stressful and there's a, a whole process that occurs and it's going to take a while. And then suddenly when that process is complete, then everything is resolved very suddenly and you win. You win. There's a winner and there's a loser. And I think it's, I think you're the winner. I'm pretty sure that you're the winner and they walk away. So that's, that's, that's what I'm seeing. You're the winner. There's a winner and a loser, and you're that winner. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.